In this video we're going to look at how we can create a fixed size window i.e. one that cannot be resized by the user of the graphical user interface. When we run this computer program we're going to get this window here. Keep your eye on the cursor. If I move the cursor into the window you can see its shape. Now watch what happens when I move it here to the edge. You can see that it changes to a double headed arrow which means I can drag it to make the width bigger or I can drag it to make the width smaller. If I now move down to here keep your eye on the cursor you can see it's now a double headed arrow indicating that I can drag the window to make it bigger in this direction i.e. the height bigger and I can reduce the height by dragging it in this direction and I can also come here and do the same and I can do up here as well. If I come to the corner I can drag it and make both the width and the height bigger. Likewise I can come to this corner and do the same and I can come to this corner and do the same and so on. If you look up here by following the cursor, you can see you can click there to minimize the window, you can click here to maximize the window, and you can click here to close the window. And of course, depending on your operating system, you'll have a slightly different look to what I'm showing you here. Now you can see I've added this program statement to the program we've just been considering. If you look at what we have got, we've got a message to this window and I'm invoking this method called resizable and in brackets you can see there is width is assigned false and height is assigned false. Now the effect of this is best shown by looking at the cursor here. Watch what happens when I move it to this region. Previously it turned to a double headed arrow and now you can see that doesn't happen which means I cannot drag this window to a different size from this position. If I come here it doesn't change to a double headed arrow. If I move to here likewise. If I move to the corner it's not a double headed arrow. In other words it isn't possible to resize this window. And if you look here, we can still see we can minimize the window. If you look here, you can see that the window can be closed. But look here, you can see that that's grayed out, which means I cannot click here to maximize the window. Why? Because I have made it not possible to resize this window. So in other words, this particular method here, so long as you set the width and the height to false as can be seen by these parameters you cannot resize this window. Now why would you want to do that? Well typically you might have an application with just a few widgets on it maybe a couple of buttons and some text entry and a label to maybe convert from Fahrenheit to centigrade in an application and there's no point having that window resizable because you want to keep it contained to a sensible size so it's easy for the user simply to use the window. So there's always a good reason why you would want a fixed size window and you can see how easy it is to make it such that you cannot resize the window by setting these two parameters here to false. This program is almost the same as the program we've just considered. The difference is I've set the width to true whereas previously it was false. Now what this is going to do is going to allow us to alter the size of this window in terms of its width. So if I come over here now I can drag the width to a bigger size or to a smaller size. Follow the cursor and you can see when I come to here it's suggesting I can drag the height but if I attempt to do so nothing happens and why well because height is still false if I come to here to maximize well I am saying that I cannot maximize the height because I've set the parameter here to false whereas I can maximize the width so what will happen under these circumstances is this you can see that the window has maximized but only for the width the height has remained 
the same. For completeness, you can see that I've now made the width false again, whereas I've made the height true. And if I come over here, you can see I can alter the size of the window in the height direction, but I will not be able to alter it in the width direction because the width has been set to false. If I now maximize the window, then what should happen is that it should only maximize in the height direction. Let's see what it does. And there you can see it has. It's maximized in the height direction, but the width remains the same. Before I finish this video, I want to point out one thing. Have a look at false and true. You can see that false begins with capital F and true begins with capital T. If you were to enter false with a lowercase f and true with a lowercase t, then you'll get a compile error. You must use false with a capital F and true with a capital T. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.